Nicholas Harbour with the early lead and Nick Harbour takes this one easily. Nicholas Harbour. Look at him go. I have dreams to be in the NFL and in the Olympics. Since I was eight years old, I wanted to do both. Never give up, just go harder. Got out the mud, yeah. I've never seen an athlete that I can compare to Nick Harbour. On the track, he is an assassin. I see the dog come out of him on the football field. I'm bringing something to the table for both sports. In his mind, no one is going to stop him. No one can shut him down. He wants to be an Olympian. He wants to wear a gold jacket. I'm coming strong, I'm coming hard, and I'm coming for the record. He's Superman. He's not to pick between football and track. There's going to be a moment where you're going to have to decide which direction you're going to go. When is he going to do that? I foresee that's going to come faster than he thinks. I ain't stopping both of them unless they both of them stopping me. I do worry about the pressure that has been put on him. I'll be committed to the University of... I see there's always a crowd around him. And I was built for it. I was made for it. I'm going to be ready when the stage comes. We're about to see something spectacular. I'm good to go. And I'll just be doing this. So, you got your outfit, your school outfit, and all that stuff? Yeah, um, I don't think I'm using the school outfit. Yeah, so I'm just, I'm just going to do it in chance now. Okay. Yeah. Big day? Yes, sir. Thank everybody. Just want to thank, you know, all the coaching staff that you know recruited me. You know, just gave me the opportunity to, you know, to commit to their school. I just want to thank my family, friends, you know, mom and pops. You know, without them, this all wouldn't be possible. And you know, I just want to thank the whole Carroll community. You know, just for accepting me and you know, just letting me be me around it. But you know, with that being said, for the next three to four years, I'll be committed to the University of. This is U.S. number one, Nicholas Harbour. It's time to get ready for nationals. We're running a 200 and a four by two. No 60, I know y'all want to see that, but we got focus on getting at least one of the national, two national records out of three. I'll be good with that. Are right, you ready? Sit. Go. Get to it. Now, 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 yes! My name is Rafi Bakari Jr. I'm the head coach here at Archbishop Carroll, and I've known Nick since he was 12. Drop your arms, drop your arms, and that's it. Nick is an intense competitor. Pick up, pick up, pick up. All the way through it! He's had an amazing high school career. Woo! Now you're pulling. His IQ in track has gone up 100 fold. We got much more consistent between both legs, and so you were deeper in there. Who does he remind me of athletically? Stature, what his gait looks like, it's Usain Bolt. In the other sport, it's Calvin Johnson, it's Megatron. We've never had a only track focus time that wasn't circumvented by, you know, a pandemic. What does that look like? I think we're looking at another person going 9-7. And we're talking 17, 18-year-old. Get to it, get to it, get to it. We're about to see something spectacular. Set, stop. For all my peers out there, remember to believe in yourself and always take part in your craft and just always keep working at it. You know, just always becoming great. You keep doing it, you keep doing it with your love, you're gonna get better and better. 
I'm Nicholas Hobbins. You know I'm coming for all the records I want to achieve. My name is Robert Harris. I'm the assistant athletic director, and I've known Nicholas Harbour for about five years. Nick has broken several school records. The Gatorade Player of the Years, those are the ones that stick out to me. Uh, he has three on the wall right now from previous years, and he, he did win the one for football this past year, and I'm sure he's probably going to win indoor and outdoor again, so that'll be a total of six. An athlete of Nick's caliber, being a five-star, that young man does not come off the field. Now it'll be fourth right there. <laughs> he has to be dominant offensively, he has to be dominant defensively, and he has, also has to be a factor in special teams play. When you go in the gym and you see six Gatorade Player of the Year awards up on the wall, when you see the DC State Championship that he was a part of, when you see 13 and one, the single season, all-time single season winning this record in school history. He's shown the world what a true five-star is on and off the field and track. Being a five-star is just a blessing. It's a dream come true in high school sports. We all could be five-stars one day. You just got to put in the work. This trophy right here was the beach run in Myrtle Beach and I won the 100 and 200. This is my glorified baby. It's my um, Rydell Speed Flex from the Unarmored American Gang. Wore this helmet, made great memories in this helmet, still got the fingerprints in it. Never taking that off. And then my first MVP trophy um, ever. And then this was in my 2021 States. This is, you know, my Outstanding Athlete Award, you know, from AAU. It's the last thing I talk about. You know, A it was a very special moment for me. And, you know, I got a little trophy for it, you know, just to come in, you know, just my, you know, my devotion to the sport and then, you know, the A itself. Here comes Nicholas Harbor. Around the final turn, Nick Harbor coasting along, and it's Nicholas Harbor. When I knew I was fast, no, I was fast when I was like, nah, not a turn. I knew I had some speed. I didn't know it would turn to this. And look at him go, eating up the turns for sure for Nicholas Woo. Harbor. The moment that I realized where I can be a track star was my first AAU Junior Olympics. Won two gold medals there, and I'm like, okay. And then the best Junior Olympics I ever had was my Detroit run. Obviously, you have three hats on right now. You have three medals. So what did you do today? Um, I did the 100 that started off, then the 4 by one and the 200. I guess we could say my last junior Olympics. I'm really a track star. And here we go. It's Ankrum in five, Harbor in four. Nicholas Harbor, 2096. For me, just that being my last AAU Junior Olympics, it was just a stepping stone and a milestone to have completed. Nicholas Harbor, 33.90. On the track, he is an assassin. His nickname is The Answer. No matter what, you got me. I'll make it up. I'm the answer to every solution Carol has, I have, anybody has. I just found a way to, you know, answer it. About to hand off to Nicholas Harbor, the five-star football recruit, with that amazing blind exchange, and there goes Nicholas Harbor. That's how he is on the track. He is going to be the one who says out loud, I got it. I'll make up what we don't have. That number one time is shattered. Absolutely shattered. Nick Harbor he blew that race wide open. But whatever it is, we gonna get it done. You should have some. Let me see. Okay, this is from the notes, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Then you also have to have uh, the chart. The chart. That was the home. Nicholas is an everyday kid. I think sometimes that's the biggest piece that gets lost. Uh, because of his physical attributes on the track and on the football field. You look at him, he's 6'6". His stature makes you think he's an adult. Folks didn't really realize how young he is. He is 17, he won't be 18 until he's at college. But he's a great, mature young man. He's always been respectful. 
He's always been smart. He's always been into his academics. He's done a great job with National Honor Society every quarter being on the honor roll. So first is this block, yeah. then is this block. Correct. Around people, he's the Jolly Green Giant. What is going on here? You gotta see the TikTok. He loves everybody. The man of the hour. It's like a magnet to people. So it's been fun to see that long maturity happening. Right now he's almost an old hand at talking to people, uh, adults, dignitaries, media. We back to work to track them all. Right? <laughs> you know, we, we done with this. And he's been in two arenas. So he gets double of the media attention of, of a one sporter. So he gets lots more practice. Ma, Pops, this is the Texas Tech Invitational. This is the 200 meter dash. So this is your race? Yeah. Well, this is where I broke the youth, the U18 world record again. I had it previously at 20.79. This is it. I got out. You know, I extended a little bit. Right there. I slowed up a little bit, but yeah, you did. at that point, we going for we going for we going for we going for and then Yeah, you know one thing. One thing. Oh, well, I gotta show y'all. Have you ever heard of Miles Split Fifty? Yes. So these are the new rankings that came out. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow, you number one. Yep. Wow. Number one track athlete in the nation. My name is Azuka Harbour, and I'm Nick's father. Coming from Nigeria, soccer was all my all, all I know. I started playing maybe when I was about five, six years old. I was called into the United, uh, to Nigeria national team at the age of 15 years old. That was the fastest striker in there I ever seen. Coming down to United States, playing for the uh, United States uh, under Coach Bora Milutinovic, it was a good experience. Just the fun of being in the, uh, with the team in California for almost uh, a year and some fraction. It was, it was fun. Nick cannot play soccer. He doesn't want to touch the ball. Nick gravitated uh, to football, and track was something that uh, has a lot of interest in it. I do worry about the pressure it's been put on him. I can see how much pressure he's going to trying to make a decision, trying to make the right decision. He's going to have to pick between football and track. When is he going to do that? I foresee that's going to come faster than he thinks. I have dreams to be in the NFL and the Olympics. Since I was eight years old, I wanted to do both. Both of those things require an intensity of focus. So will he have to? Yeah, he will. Can I see him attaining both? The window is tight. The 2024 Olympics is right around the corner. I have told him that Olympics is probably where you're going to have to target. But that means a laser-like focus on doing that. And who you talk to in college have to, to some degree Understand that aspiration and understand what it means. So that school knows that you're going to the Olympics, which means there's some time that's only going to be for this. Mentally, I'm preparing. You know, physically, I'm preparing. So I'm going to be ready when the stage comes. Don't worry about that one. You know, I just want to thank everybody. Just want to thank, you know, all the coaching staff that, you know, have recruited me, you know, just gave me the opportunity to, you know, to commit to their school. I just want to thank my family, friends, you know, mom and pops, you know, without them, this all wouldn't be possible. But, you know, with that being said, for the next three to four years, I'll be committed to the University of South Carolina. Go Gamecocks! <laughs> A lot of sleepless nights. Couldn't sleep, man. You know, I cried. I prayed to God. I did take into consideration that track and football was a big part of my, my college decision. 
that was a big thing because I'm doing track and football right now and I want to do that in college. So if they wasn't bringing track and football to the table, I'm sorry, but I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention. Congratulations, wish you the best down in Columbia. Thank you, sir. He chose a school that he really loves. He chose a school that he really wants to go to. I'm happy he chose a school that he felt like can help him grow. When he said that, this is where I'm going. So he asked, well, you decide? Let's go, baby. That's me, let's go. Anywhere you go, I'll be there. It was a hard decision, but I'm glad I made the decision that, you know, that was gonna put me at peace and that I didn't have to regret. See him put that hat on was a, I'll be honest with you, a pretty emotional moment for me. A national guy that announces on national television today, like, like Nick did, it resonates not just here in South Carolina, but across the country. People are talking about this. And I think for Nick, it was real. I don't want to speak for him, but I think he all along felt most comfortable here and wanted to be here. I believe Nick is going to accomplish whatever he sets out to do. He's shown me time and time again that when he puts his mind to something, he's going to get it done. Nick's going to make an Olympic team. He's going to win a medal. And he's going to win an NFL ring, Super Bowl ring. You know, that's the little dream of Nicholas Harbor. I want everybody else to let their dreams out. People are going to remember Nick Harbor for a very long time. I'm Nicholas Harbor. I'm coming strong, I'm coming hard, and I'm coming for the records.